United had the relegation spotlight to themselves at Boundary Park. Ten minutes gone, and already the high stakes producing a game high on energy and commitment. This is Gunnar Haller for Oldham. Too close to Kelly. Oh, he's lost it! It's a goal! Andy Ritchie scored! Sensational start! Alan Kelly, Sheffield United's player of the season so far, gifting one of the softest goals of the season to Andy Ritchie. It was in the gloves and safely locked away, then suddenly it escaped. Ritchie. Pemberton trying to get at him. Came off Hoyland, and Beck was in here, and that's a good save. That's more like the real Alan Kelly. Hodges. Just slinging another cross in. Dean, chance for Hoyland. It's there. Jamie Hoyland, last minute of the half. What a time to equalise. No question of offside. His run was well timed. He gambled on Dean winning the header and then somehow tamed the ball on this difficult surface and got his body away just in time. Less than 20 minutes now remaining. Richie, who's brought a touch of class to proceedings, found a way through Bernard! And the shot just found a way over the bar. Richie's won it from Gale. That's a good ball, Beckford's in there. Kelly did just enough again, still not clear. Milligan, good save! Well, that early error is a distant memory now for Alan Kelly. Hodges, deep in stoppage time, looking for Whitehouse, neck and neck with Haller, Dane Whitehouse! Gerrard's turn to distinguish himself. But Sheffield United much the happier with a result which maintains Dave Bassett's two-point lead over Joe Royal and the bottom three. When you make a mistake like that in a game as big as this, does it dwell on your mind for a little while? Obviously, for the first couple of uh, minutes after, it, it does. You know, you sort of got to give yourself a good slap down the face, which I did. Um, but it's no good for me, and it's no good for the team if I if I dwell on it and feel sorry for myself. So I picked myself up and got on with it. Because all sorts of good things have been happening to you in the last few weeks, haven't they? That's right. Yes, obviously, I've been getting good praise and what have you. But uh, it shows that you know when you make a, a mistake, you've got to accept the criticism uh, with it. Um, and, I, and I'll do that. Obviously, tomorrow uh, they'll say it was a terrible mistake, and it was, and I'll admit to that. Every team in the, in the league say they've got a good team spirit. It's, it's difficult to keep together that when you're down in the bottom six, isn't it? Yeah, but when you've been down there for the last three years, you, you seem to gel a team spirit, so uh, we know what it's like to be down there, and that's what I think gives us strength. Really, is that important? Does that give you an edge over one or two of the others? Yeah, I mean, uh, teams who are down there now will feel the pressure. I mean, like, we're happy with the point tonight. Teams would have come here and been happy, like, you know, probably to, to, not, to not get a point and try and win the game. But, uh, you know, we know a point's good and we've got to beat Blackburn Saturday now. Sheffield United now two points clear of the bottom three 